Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, welcome. How are you today? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How about you? Awesome. Thanks a lot. We're doing great. We're pretty busy. I you know this day has been like not a normal day um, because we have been doing a lot of things, but, you know, very encouraged because that's important and getting ready to start our class this day. And um, welcome to everyone. It's a great chance to have you here. I know that you are a very responsible person, people. So I know that you are here to do your best, to have fun and, and maximize your skills. That's something important. And also, and um, I would like to ask you, how, how's the weather like? It, it's raining, it's uh, how, how it is. How's the weather like? Yeah, all the day uh, yeah. it was raining. Rain. Yeah, exactly. It's been raining, and so we had to be very careful. Um, get our umbrellas wherever we go, and also sweaters. So, do you know for a whole long it's gonna be raining, like for two more days, one more day? Have you have you seen the news or? Being honest, I have been pretty busy that I haven't watched the news, you know, but I just need to check them. Do you like this weather? Yes, in my case, I, I like it. You I enjoy, it. You enjoyed it. All right, that's good. Yes. And some, well, here is like, we don't we don't wear sweaters, but now when with the weather like this one, everybody's looking for in the closet, the weather, the, the sweaters. And to protect, yeah, you know, so we have we can use that. Yeah. <laughs> it's because we live in a tropical country. I, I, I most of the time I speak with, um, with friends uh, who live in the United States, for example, and um, and nowadays, for example, in uh, in some some cities in the U.S., it's being snowing, and they were complaining about that, and uh, I, I told them, you know what, the subler is totally different because here oh, we have. A tropical weather. Most of the time it's sunny. You see the sun all the time. And also sometimes it rains depending on the winter, but people enjoy El Salvador because it's a tropical country. So much better for us. Well, uh, let's start the class today. And also it's for me a great chance to, you know, getting ready to start with, the, with great topics to share. And at the same time, practice. That's what we need to get. Before the start, I just want to ask you what what we did yesterday. Can you give me a summary about what we did? So can you tell me what, what you remember, what we did in the class? Yes, teacher. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I remember that we talk about uh, some some mean some words that the meaning that some word that you can use in your and your professional development, like a uh, um, <clears throat> pay off. <laughs> Okay, uh, some terms, some new vocabulary. Yeah, new vocabulary, turnover cost, um, soft skills, and, and others word that we talk that we talk is career path and self directed and learning. We talk about the some vocabulary, and at the end we talk about the 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 grammar and conjunctions grammar. I remember that. Thank you so much. Exactly, that's what we started in the last class, and also we talk about preconjunctions, and we will have a short feedback related to the topic that we socialized yesterday, and remember some rules because it's important 
and we can use them in real conversations and also we can use it when talking in, in a natural way so we can use grammar the only one difference we have here is like we study english we learn english but at the same time we maximize you know grammar skills we know what to say how to say in a in a good grammar structures so this is uh, something that is important for us here in this class thank you so much it was a great summary about what we did in the class and uh, we will continue um sh having a short feedback related to the last grammar exercise as you said before we started um what we called uh, you know vocabulary that is related to development is work development so we asked uh, employees or we have an special position in a company we should uh, do our best and also encourage um, you know, people around us to study, to improve, and to be updated. Let's see. Well, we continue and we have a review. In this case, we had the time to um, check this grammar structure, but at this time, we're going to have short feedback. We were saying that we studied the per the per conjunctions that are words that we combine in, in two different sentences to, to add more details to a sentence. The goal about the preconditions is to join two closest. In Spanish, we call two sentences. And we have some of them like not only, but also, and both, and. And we also said that those words are combined in a similar way to the fanboys that we use for and nor, but, or yet, and so. We also were saying that we use not only, um, but also in formal context. Those are very formal expressions. Those connectors are very formal. And uh, the goal is to add more information or more details as you connect to elements in a sentence. Because we were talking about uh, that a company offers training and offers uh, trainings and sections and mentorship. So we add more ideas about a sentence. That is the main goal of this. You said, uh, not only did he get a scholarship, but also he got a sponsorship to finish his studies. The company offered not only training sections, but also a mentorship program. So we combine two ideas in, uh, in its structure. We also used both and the uh, and. We were saying that the goal for this structure is to emphasize the connection between two ideas in a sentence. For example, we say both feedback and mentorship are important elements of professional development. So we... Um, highlight feedback and mentorship using both and and to connect. Both new and experienced employees can join the training. So we can appreciate here that we emphasize new and experienced employees, uh, specific characteristics. And we were doing that one. And also we, I shared yesterday uh, some sentences that we had to change in change then used it not only, but also in both and and. And, but we couldn't conclude the last exercise we're gonna be working today. We're gonna take a short time to analyze each statement. And uh, I want you to select the best choice for this one. Circle the option that best completes the sentence. Compare your choices with a partner. Number one, uh, we have training of formal education affect an employee's professional development. So we have whether or, or we can use both and. We have to read the sentence and choose the best choice to complete the sentence. We have option A or option B to complete it. Number two, are online courses an affordable way to learn? They are a good way to boost your resume. Not only, but also, or either, or we have to check the best answer for this. And then we have experience, educational requirements uh, to get a promotion. We have neither nor or both and. We have to analyze the best choice for this. Number four, people in interest in professional development can subscribe to our newsletters 
to get more information on courses. Register for new courses notifications. We have two possible choices, not only, but also, only, but also. Number five, the company needed a manager to encourage training opportunities. A person to work closely to employees' professional development. We have neither nor or not only, but also. We had to check the best choice for this. Um, number six. It is uh, the responsibility of a leader to encourage learning of new skills to promote the participation of employees in training and coaching sections. We have both in and neither nor. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to socialize the best possible answer for each one. And then we're gonna be um, analyzing. One on one, you can tell me, teacher, I consider that the best choice is letter B because according to the context of the sentence, the best way to respond is this one. We're gonna answer this one together. So I, I'll give you some minutes to you know, focus on the six statements and choose the best pair of conjunctions. Before starting, I would like to ask if you have any questions or doubts. No? Okay, let's go. Good luck. Um, teacher, excuse me. I'm getting in a little bit time ago. Um, can you repeat the indications, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, we can see that the sentences are not complete. So what we had to do is so we had to choose the best choice to complete each sentence. We have, uh, depending on what question is or what sentence is, we had to choose the best answer. So the recommendation is look at the context of the sentence and choose the best answer to have a clear idea in the sentence. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome.
almost ready or not yet? Not yet, teacher. Okay, great. Okay, give two us, times. Give us, uh, per minutes. Okay, that's okay. That's important. Take your time for that. Remember that the most important is like to have um, uh, the idea about the sentence. When we get the idea about the sentence, we can use the connectors. We can use the the vocabulary to combine it, and uh, that will be clear. So that that's important. And uh, the advantage of all these type of exercises using the preconjunctions is that we are using it in a native way. So it's a formal English. Okay, let's let's check together um, each one so you can help me to, you know, choose the best choice and we're going to try to highlight the main idea of a sentence. Right, we get the first one and it says that the training, formal education affect and an employee's professional development. So look at this. According to this one, what do you think would be the best choice to complete the sentence? We have whether and we have or. We use them for options. What do you think? Be. How this would be? Can you read it? Uh, for me, there be because we are talking about training and formal education. Okay, uh, training, training and formal education affect uh, okay, it affect an employee, employee's professional development. Not affect in a negative way, but training in formal education can help to maximize you know, their potential or their capacities. So what do you think, guys? Do, do you think the, the choice B is the best one for this for the sentence? Yes, I agree. I agree with Jose. Okay, 
because the sentence makes sense because we're talking about an employee's professional development. Definitely that is the best choice for this one. Great job. And what about the number two? What do you have this one? Are online courses an affordable way to learn? There are good ways to boost your resume, to like enhance. What do you think could be the best choice for this? Letter A, not only, but also. Yes. Not only are online courses an affordable way to learn, comma, but also they're a good way to boost your resume. <clears throat> and what are the main ideas in the sentence? That not only online courses are for the affordable way to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, but also, they are a good way to boost your resume. Okay, two ways. The first one is online courses, and the other one is to boost your resume, boost. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can say that the two main ideas in this sentence are online courses and uh, boost your resume or improve your resume. So for that reason, the choice A is the best one to emphasize two important ideas in the sentence. Okay, that's great. Number three, experience education are requirements to get a promotion. Which one do you think would be the best choice for this? Letter B. Letter B. What are, what are the, two, the, the two important points? So experience. Ex experience, okay. Experience. And education. And education. Ah. Connectors. Exactly. So the experience and education are requirements. So we can say that both experience and education. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense to me. That's right. The number three is the best choice for this. Okay, number four. Uh, people interested in professional development can subscribe to our newsletter to get more information on courses. Register for new courses notifications. Look at this one. What do you think could be the best choice for this? Letter A. Mm -hmm. People interested in professional development can not only subscribe, subscribe to our yes, newsletter. No to get more information on courses, but uh, also... Register for a new course notification. The okay. New course and mm -hmm. subscribe. Okay, so yeah. what are the two main points in the sentence? Letter A. Yes, and the, the, the two, two main points in the sentence. People interested in professional can... Subscribe to our uh, new, uh, le new okay. letter. New okay. Subscribe to a newsletter to get more information, but also and register, register for new courses. Okay, so the two main ideas are subscribe to our newsletters and registers for new courses notifications. All right, so that's mean that the letter A is the best choice for this. Congratulations, that's the way. Okay, look at the next one. Next, number five, the company uh, needed a manager to encourage. What is that? Letter B. Not only, but also, the company not only needed a manager to encourage the training opportunities, but also, so we can say, uh, encourage training opportunities would be the idea, but also a person uh, to work closely with employees' professional development. Okay, so the answer is letter B, right? Much better. And the last one, it is the responsibility of a leader to encourage learning of new skills to promote the participation of employees in training and coaching sections. Which one? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Letter and, A, plus and N. Okay, uh, definitely letter B is uh, for negative. So in that case, it doesn't match. 
So the best choice in that case would be letter A, both, and and, because you're giving more information. Okay, any comments? In the letter C, you talk about the to encourage and, and coaching session. It is true. Encouraged. Uh, Encourage learning and coaching sessions. Sessions, okay. Uh, to promote the participation of logis, training, and coaching sessions. Like too many ideas, right? Okay, that's okay. Well, one of the clues about this, this type of sentences is that we had to get the two main points that are reflected in the sentence. So when we identify them, it's easier to use the best uh, per conjunction. Great job, you did great. Okay, let's continue with the next part. Scene. Okay. Okay, we have some other equations that I want you to socialize. One of the most important points for our classes because we're advanced is to demonstrate in every single class that we're capable to speak, communicate actively, express our ideas and thoughts, use our grammar when talking, use um, vocabulary, use expressions, and also that we're capable to speak um, clearly and naturally in a conversation. So for me, it's very valuable to and take a short time and also talk with your partners. What I want you to do, guys, in this in this part is to answer the following questions. We're going to work in pairs, and we're going to try to socialize the most important about uh, continuing professional development. The first questions we have here is like, why does continuing professional development matter to your career? Why this is important? Well, teacher, for me, it's important because we grow. We can learn new things that perhaps we are not learning or we need to go beyond about our personal expectations and we need to improve. So you have to analyze this question according to your personal experience and you try to answer in your way. Question number two is, how do you make sure you keep developing? What are you doing? What are you doing to improve? Or, or, or perhaps there are some people that sadly, I'm going to be honest with you, they are stuck. They, what they know is enough for them. They don't study, they don't investigate, they don't work, they don't try to change or trying to do something better. Perhaps there are some mistakes or some things that perhaps need to be improved, but they don't, they do nothing to, to enhance. So the question is, how do you make sure you keep developing? Uh, the next question is, what if you're in a job that is not challenging enough? Um, how, do you how do you decide what to focus on in your professional development? So try to think about that. In, um, and I want you to analyze it and answer it with your own words, with your own uh, experience, because it is important to practice. Uh, we had the opportunity yesterday to talk in the class and you work with some students in the breakout rooms, but I need you to socialize with some other classmates and practice with them, feel free to talk, and also you socialize and interact with your partners in, in general. Is that uh, okay for you? Hello? Is yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank yes, you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, it's because here. I mean, if you if you listen a noise, the background, it's because it's raining here. So for now on, there is no air conditioning because the weather is very fresh.
Well, okay, in this moment, we're gonna take a short time to uh, pass the attendance list. So uh, I'm just gonna be, you know, saying your name and just say present. Okay, let's see um, here, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. It's Carlos here. No. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present. Uh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present teacher. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Nelson. Nelson is not here. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher, yes. um, Nelson answer in the chat. Nelson answer in the chat. Okay, thank you. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. I'm sorry, let's see, yeah, Ricardo Ernesto. It's not here. Um, Ciprido Ernesto Gomez. Present. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy. Present teacher, good evening. Hello. Hello. All right, thank you. Um, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thanks. Um, Manuel Antonio Escamilla. Manuel is here. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, hello. Okay, All right, that's okay. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to continue um, socializing the questions. 
related to continuing professional development. So what I want you to do is we're gonna be working in a small groups and it will take around uh, four minutes to analyze its, each question in a briefly way. And I want you to uh, check the most important points. Remember that speaking is important and that all of you can participate actively in the class. If you have any questions or doubts, don't hesitate to ask. You can also use the chat to uh, type a question that perhaps you don't understand or you need some help and I will be more than glad to help you. So let's go then. I will open all the rooms. Why does continuing professional development matter to your career? I'm so sorry, guys. No worry, man. <laughs> okay. What is your opinion about that? Hmm. So I think it's a plus to your career because you learn something else after you finish your your class of students. And I think it, this help you to improve the soft uh, skills and hard skills too. Yes, the top up skills, I think. I right, yes. Yeah. I agree with that. Uh, you need um improve your skill because the the um, work the mark the the market is continuing improving. And if you, you don't make courses, for example, uh, you will be obsolete in a moment. And the company maybe fire you. I don't know. <laughs> or if you if you want to gain more money, uh, you need to improve your your performance. I believe it's kind of the 
do the way to the increase your your skills because uh, you have a, a your post your confidence and update your knowledge about the, the specific topic um, maybe become too creative and have a, a taking a more challenge in your work yes uh, what do you think jose i think the same as you uh you have to update the knowledge that you have if you want to keep on the market because the the world keep going forward so you need to to update your knowledge and know uh, new things to keep up on the market nice and uh, okay and how do you make sure you keep developing Ewing, why are you so happy? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, so I think this can be for uh, it's proof uh, to you your options and best uh, how do you say mejores, mm, better? better opportunity, right? Better. Uh, Obviously, you right. can find better opportunities in your career. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think uh, if you uh, share with your partners uh, your your learning, um, I think they share with you another, another knowledge. And you can uh, add um, I believe the <clears throat> example to maintain the skill developing Nowadays, we have to be update our abilities because the competitors and the uh, maybe in, in our team or in our company, there are many people that is trying to keep this skill top up skill, and, and maybe we have to to keep developing us all the time, always, always. To, to keep on the way, to keep on the line, right? Because if we doesn't, if we don't do it, we can stay in a stock. And for sure, we cannot apply for promotion and nothing like this. That's my opinion. I don't know, where were you? For him? Yes, for him? I, I agree, but I, I think that you ensure your your development if you continue learning yes because um if you uh, have the different skill um make you a better person not only in your work always in your life yes and it's important if you have uh, this idea if you try to improve uh, day by day and the different skills in your world is a is a is a, is a better for for me for example yes i try i i, I say for example just um i say my family uh, in this moment i i learn english yes but i think that in uh, uh the next year for example i think i will study uh, I don't know the other language, uh, uh, study French or Germany, because I, I don't know. I think that uh, day by day I try to 
improve not only my different skills that uh, also I try to improve uh, uh, my life or or get the different uh, opportunity in my work or in my life. Yeah. And number three, what if you are in your, in a job that's not challenging enough? Well, in my opinion, if, if you are not comfortable in your job or you feel that it's not enough, the, the job or the challenge that you have, Maybe you try to move another job that you feel comfortable or you feel good with your, according your career, according your your experience. Try to try to move, try to apply for another job or or another company or or if you don't have any option, if you have to in another job, maybe you try to find the best way to feel well or comfortable with your with your with your with your job maybe or try to look um try to talk with your boss maybe because when you talk with your boss maybe he they can understand you that you need feel more or you need more uh, more challenge uh, about your 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 responsibility in your job maybe it's, it's in an option that you can try to find try to 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 talk with your boss or or the same person in your team that that can help you maybe or is not the ocean <laughs> in my case I try to move for or apply for another job when you feel comfortable and you feel that that the the job is or the challenge is enough for you yeah that's okay that's interesting well the word is comfortable comfortable oh, comfortable thank you. yes comfortable comfortable yes well in my opinion if Okay, um, thank you guys for the opportunity to talk a little bit about the questions. I know that you gave very valuable answers according to your personal experience and also some personal projections in the company. As we know, we have some uh, important goals that we had to, to analyze the challenges that perhaps we have in the company or some things that we would like to have in the company that are very necessary to discuss. So I could listen to um, most of your groups and I, and I could learn a lot about you and also about your personal uh, experienced. Well, we'll continue guys working in the following exercise. We have a listening exercise right now. And uh, what we had to do is that we had to answer the following questions. And uh, I will share with you right now, um, I know you, and you have to answer uh, the best, you have to select the best answer for each question. 
So just give me one second because I'm going to share it by, by the group, by our group, what's up? I will, I will share the, let's see, the questions. So just allow me one second and I will send the, also the audio so you will have a chance to listen to this conversation. One moment, please. Okay, look at it. Look at the, the your chat, please. And I'm sending you uh, the audio, and at the same time. Also, you can see the questions. Listen carefully and try to answer and the best according to the conversation. So I'll give you uh, four minutes to three minutes to check this one. Four minutes. Go ahead. Oh, can you see it in your groups? Yes. Yeah. Thank you.
Are you ready? Ready or not yet? Are you ready? Okay, ready now or not yet? yet not yet okay Okay, let's see. Well, socialized, uh, the ones you can um, check. The first one, uh, the number one, what do you think is the best answer? In that case, according to the listening. Number one teacher, I think that is her sister. That's correct. Yes, that's right. It's the sister. <laughs> yes, that's right. You can show in, in number one. In number one, I was confused because the lady speak such a wife. However, I understand that it's sister. Yeah, that's right. It's sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the number two. What do you have for the the number two in that case? The number two. I believe in the number two is his David and he's trying to trying borrow to money. money. Yeah, so he got some difficulties that he well he needs to you know get some some money to borrow some money, and that was the the answer for this one. That's correct. <laughs> yes, and what about the number three? What do you have uh, for the number three? He tries to go out to eat every night. Try, tries to? He tries to go out to eat every night. Mm, there isn't a special detail in this in this um answer. It's confused for me because I think that he doesn't know how to cook very well. Exactly. And that is the answer. So because he has some difficulties to cook. So that's why, you know, it was like, you know, that doesn't know how to cook very well. Needs to work in that. And the next, the number four. A small place. With a nice view of the city. Yes. Exactly. A small, a small place. That's correct. That is the, the situation. And the last one. The last one. Uh, what do you have for the last one? Be carefully using the credit card. 
Mm, there's something specifically that was mentioned in the in the in the it, car. They talk about the his car. Maybe is a how to get right in his car to save money. <laughs> yeah, definitely that he he needs to sell the vehicle to you know to have like better like better income. So he needs to sell the car to have a better you know opportunities. That's correct. Congratulations on that. So always it's important to I mean to work at listening skills. I always say that one of the best ways to improve speaking is the listening. If you can watch television, you can listen to radio in English, videos, uh, series. So they, this can help you first because you can also work with their accent. So, so we have a Spanish or her accent is in Spanish. So her accent is very remarkable. When we're very um, interconnected uh, with English, and we need to like focus, we need to practice the pronunciation and also, you know, try. So that's why it's recommendable that you are in contact with the native English. So it's very remarkable for watching movies, serious uh, news in English, television in English, uh, this can help you. So listening, the listening skill is very necessary in this case. Well, we work, work with the next part. We have to read the following article and we had to answer the questions and then we're gonna try to socialize the statements with true or false. So I will share right now a link and I want you to um, check this, read the article and then answer some uh, questions or statements. You have to select true or false, and then you can see the answers. But what I want you to do is to tell me later, after that you have read the article and you have responded the questions, that you can uh, summarize in a briefly way what you understood about the article, because it's an article very interesting. So look at this chat. I'm, I'm sharing with you right now. Look at this chat. I'm sharing the link. This is related to um, the, the learning skills of the 21st century workplace. And uh, you will check the link. You will read the article about skills for the 21st century workplace. So nowadays, if we want to have a better job, if we want to have better opportunities, we have to have some specific skills that uh, we need to have in order to be successful in a job. What can we get to be very successful, to reach better opportunities and also maximize your skills? So check this page. After that one, you will go on and test, check your understanding, true or false. You click on it, you read the sentence and you will check true or false. And then you say finished and check the answers. And you will explain me in a briefly way during the class. So what do you learn about this article? Because it's very interesting. There are uh, some changes that nowadays we have. Uh, can you see the link? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. So we can start, I, I give you a couple of minutes and then we will go back to socialize uh, the information about the article. Don't forget to have the camera on. Um, it's something given by Instafor. And also your participation in the class has to be completed. Try to have all the minutes uh, to be taken into account for this course.
Okay, we have uh, specifically one minute to move on to the next exercise. Um, it, it is a very interesting reading, and uh, especially because it gives us some important skills we should have in this century. As we know, comparison in comparison to the last to some years ago, in uh, different decades, we have uh, seen a very important improvement about different areas of education, culture, jobs, and general opportunities. And it's something important to highlight that it's necessary to, to be updated about how things are going. Thanks to the technology, we have seen incredible changes that we had to be adapted. There are nowadays some people who have some challenges to understand and manage technology. Uh, technologies can help us to make life easier and also have uh, um, important things in a shorter time. So everything could be fast and also proficient and also important resources like applications that can help us to and improve in different areas of you know, jobs and works and everything. Well, um, also you can see some exercises. We won't, won't be focusing about the true or false because also that the page can give you a feedback about the answers about true or false. But I just want to ask you um, one or two you know, participants uh, what did you learn from the from the articles? So what, what did you learn? What information attracted your attention when you were reading the article? I believe it all article is very interesting because there is a, a difference um, statement in what explained the, the the new employers required for for uh, new co-workers so, and especially when preferred uh, problem resolve, resolving employees will be will have a valuable workers for who are available to see the problem before they happen thank you so much yes uh solving problems it's a very very uh necessary because employees have the opportunity to see problems before happening so we can avoid um some problems that perhaps later can affect or job. Thank you so much. Uh, someone else. Well, I um I read the 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 skills are uh, soft skills. Um, for example, um. Problem solving, communication skills, decision making. Um, yeah, for example, in, in my case, I I want to learn about uh, communication skills because I I think it's the uh, weak point in myself. And that's catch my attention. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Rafael. Yeah, definitely that, that, you know, those kind of skills um, can help us to improve some areas. Perhaps there are some things that we need to focus and work and try, try, work. And if that works, uh, that can help us to be more proficient about what we do. Thank you so much. And the last person. Well, me teacher, in my opinion, I was reading the article maybe twice or, or three times. So I identified that nowadays the company are looking for people that come up with idea, people that, that leadership, people that is going one step before the other one, people that knowing how to solve problems and how to get a nice communication. And overall, people proactive, right? People that start with the ideas, yes? That's what I identify in the article. Oh, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. 
yeah, definitely that is um, important, you know, and also there are new skills that nowadays we have to be updated and also try. And perhaps in the future, there will be some other things that we need to learn and that can help us to um, go beyond our personal expectations. Great job for that. Well, let's continue with the next uh, exercise. So we will um, jump up this exercise because we need to work in this topic that it's very important. We use how to use commas in a series. This is the, the topic that we will share today. This is a grammar topic. And it's a very, very easy. And also we can remember some important points. Look at this. Look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercise below. Uh, whenever there are three or more items in a, ser in a series, each item requires punctuation to separate it from the others. This is important. And I need a volunteer to read the first. Who wants to help me to read this? Uh, Emerson, thank you. Uh, the term is in series can consider all the all any words, phrases, or clauses. The comma before the last element in the series is optional. Mary E. In order to keep a great growing professional years after year. It is necessary to maintain, improve, and broaden your set of skills. Letter B, continuous professional development can be done in a different way, such, uh, such as self-direct learning, mentoring, and reading a wide variety of the topics. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, as, as you read, um, and also we can check this, it's uh, important to check this part. It says that um, we can use commas whenever there are three or more items and uh, we need to separate them. Look at this one. The item in a series of uh, consists of any words, right? Look at the example that he read before. So I'm gonna refresh this one. In order to keep growing professionally year after year, it is necessary to and then we have the first idea. The first idea is maintain. This is the first point. We have to separate it. Uh, we call in English element. The first element is maintain. The next one, we need to separate it because the comma is the post. We separate it by the comma, improve. This is the other one. And the last one in that case is broaden. In this case, we need to add and because we conclude the elements and we used and at the end of the last element. So that's why I maintain, improve, and broaden your set of skills. So you can see three elements. That's why whenever there are three or more items in a series, each item requires punctuation to separate it from the others. Look at the examples about the letter B that was read. And um, continuous professional developing or development can be done in different ways, such as self-directed. We have the first one. Learning. Self-directed learning, that is one. Coma, because we separate the first element. Mentoring, second element. Coma. And the last element, that's why we can see and the coordinator conjunction and reading a wide variety of topics. So you can also check the examples here. Look at this one. So you can check here the, and check the examples because we need to separate the ideas or elements by commas. This is um, something very uh, basic, important. And we had to remember this, this part. Okay, look at the next uh, example when we talk about occasionally. 
separating the items in a sentence. Who wants to help me to read this part? Me, teacher, can I try? Of course, thank you. Occasionally separating the item in a sentence with commas, only omitting and or or another coordinating con conjunction before the last item can help to add emphasis on what is being said. We encourage our employees to think about what they want to do, find out what the skill they need, pinpoint their ambitions. Let it be a continuous professional development approach will help you analyze your performance, be more effective, increase overall adaptability to changes. Okay, thank you so much. I just want to highlight that when we use and and or, those are called coordinator conjunctions. The famous fanboys, the fanboys that we saw in the last uh, presentation, uh, that is a conjunction, per conjunctions, it is considered um, coordinated conjunctions. It says that occasionally we can separate the items in a sentence with commas, obviously, right? But in sometimes uh, we can omit an or or another coordinated conjunctions before the last item and can help to add emphasis on what is being said. So we emphasized the idea or the message. Look at the example that we read. We encouraged our employees to think about what they want to do. I mean, I need to emphasize so I can use a phrase until here, here exactly, to think about what they want to do. This is an idea, or this is the element. In that case, uh, for me, it's important to emphasize this idea. No word, it's an idea. Uh, comma, find out what skills they need. This is the other idea that I need to emphasize. That's why I can separate it by comma. And endpoint, uh, pinpoint their all point, in that case, their ambitions. That's why I need to emphasize a phrase. That is why I separated by commas and you can check that it's not necessary to use and it's omitted in this case because I don't need it. So we encourage our employees to think about what they want to do, comma, find out what the skills they need and point their ambitions. So I don't need um, and. And look at the next example. A continuous professional development approach will help you. Automatically, I need an idea. Analyze your performance. This is this phrase I need to emphasize. Oh, element. Be more effective. This is the other one. Be more effective, comma. Increase overall adaptability to changes. Three ideas. In the first uh, example, we separated elements or words, maintain, improve, and this one. But in this case, in the second part, the punctuation, there are no only elements. There are phrases or small uh, sentences. And I can separate it by comma without using and. So this is uh, something very basic that we can check using commas in a series. It is called commas in a series because uh, we have to use commas to separate different elements. One, two, three elements. That's why it's called in series. Let's see more other um, exercises or examples. Let's move this one. Oh, this is easy. Look at this one. Come on, in a serious example. Cherries, um, Cherry, Steven, and Des decided to meet for pizza after classes. In this case, I'm not um, using um, phrases. I'm just saying names. So you can see three elements. 
Look at this one. Sherry, comma, Steven, comma, and Dest decided to meet for pizza. Because are only small elements, we can use and, right? As the example we saw before. Example of commas used with words in a series. Ali enjoys competing in races. And uh, look at this one. Competing in races. One idea, traveling around the world. This is the second idea. And eating unique cuisine. Example of commas used with phrases in a series. In that case, we don't use words. We used, um, in that case, phrases, right? That's why we had to separate them by commas. As we saw the example, we have end. Honestly, it is not necessary, but it doesn't affect the sentence. You can use N or not. You can say Ali enjoys competing in races, traveling around the world, eating unique cuisine. And the sentence is okay. But it's important to separate it by commas because are the pauses that we need to express something or give some examples. Look at the next one. I ate a sandwich, comma. Jessica drank a smoothie. And Felix munch on a granola bar. Examples of commas use it closest in a series. Closest are sentences. The second one is phrases. And in the in this one is words. Specifically words, phrases, and closest or sentences. Those are commas in series. And before that, we move on to the next exercises. Is that clear for you or not? You can tell me. Yes, teacher, it's clear. Okay, it's great. Really good. So, uh... Okay, yeah, it's it's not it's not so it's not difficult. Only separating ideas by commas. It's it's uh, pretty easy for you guys. Next, and we have some other examples. Um, the rule use commas with three or more items in a serious example. Uh, both apples, comma, oranges, and pears at the story. I danced, run, and pick today. I dance in the rain, run in the snow, and pick on my brothers today. So bad. <laughs> and also we have some other examples we have here. Commas for three or more items in a series. We use commas to separate three or more items in a series. The cafe smoothie flavors are apple, coma, mango, coma, strawberry, coma, and bananas. Um, the cafe smoothie flavors are apple, coma, mango, coma, strawberry, and banana. In the first example, a coma is placed before the last item. In, in the list and banana. In the second example, a comma is not placed before it, the last item in the list. Both sentences are grammatically correct. A comma that comes uh, before the last item in a small list is known as serial comma or Oxford comma. So you can see the last comma before it, uh, the last item. So you can see the comma before the last item. So are the examples that we are um, sharing that are very basic. But what I want you to do is this one. I want you to work in the following exercise. Identify and correct the punctuation mistakes in the following sentences. Compare your answers with the partner. So I will give you a short time to work with a partner and analyze the uh, sentences. Analyze the sentences and try to use a comma. And we're going to work in a small breakup room. But before, I will take a short time now to check the attendant list. So just give me um, a moment. I will take a picture of all this exercise so you can also check in the group. Look at the chat, please.
Okay. And look at the chat. And so you will see these sentences. And also, I know that some of you have the presentations. That's good. And I will um, stop sharing because I need to check the attendance list to check the last control of the class today. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Yes. Um, Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thanks. Um, Jose Salvador Bernal. Present. Uh, uh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera. Present. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Um, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thanks. Uh, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Cipriado uh, Ernesto Gomez. Present. Um, Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy. Present, teacher. Thanks. And Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thanks. And Manuel Antonio Escamilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, students, let's uh, take a short time to, to analyze the sentences. And we're going to work in the breakout rooms and you will share with your partners where the comments will be. Let's uh, create the breakout rooms right now. We're going to make um, the group speakers. We're gonna recreate them. Just four, four members. Four members. Okay, let's open the breakout rooms and you can go with your groups and socialize the entries here. Um, hi, Cipredo. I'm sorry, I think this um, will send me automatically to a uh, room. I didn't see the message on the screen, sorry. Okay, sure, I'm going to resend you to a different group. One second. Okay, look at the, look at the screen now. Thank you. And also we have Kevin and... Um, Sifrido, could, could you see the notification? Uh, not now. Mm, because it's the second time that I'm sending you to a team. Look at the, the screen again. I will send you to the first one. Check. Okay, I see it now. Mm. 
much better. And then we have Kevin and let's see. This is usual the comma. Yeah. Her words, competence, competence. No, the process is a is the same idea. No? Yeah. And, okay. The second uh, crucial aspect of the personal roles in their own professional development is to be up to date, up to date, and aware of the current trends, topics, legislation, and regulation related to their profession. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure it's necessary in this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think there the it has the commas right. Yeah. Current trend. What do you say? The person for the person and development needs to be now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Go to the next, maybe. Technical professional. No. Number three is the next, right? Yeah, number three, yeah. <laughs> professional who, who help people, people continue their professional developer are commitment to proving, pro, providing ample learning opportunities to, tools and resources to help them meet their goals professional who have can be applied in an, in any industry Management, comma, leadership, and security development. I think we'll be like that in number five. What do you think? Yeah. So the comma will be uh, after management, leadership, and strategy development. Okay. Number six. Some examples of professional development options include online. No, 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 there is not to be a comma read. 
it, it is online learning, comma, reading, reading articles. No, there is no how to be a comma there. It is online learning, comma, reading art articles, comma, and reports, confer conferences, workshops, seminars, and meter classroom. Okay. Learning, reading articles, and reports, conference, workshops, seminars, and virtual classrooms. Strange. So, online learning, comma, reading. Hello, students. Well, um, you know, I was checking that the time was not enough. So because we have one minute uh, away, so we're going to try to check at, at least the first three. Uh, let's check the first three and then we check uh, tomorrow the next one, right? Okay, uh, help me with the first sentence because we the time is actually about to finish. Um, we would like to make uh, certain that members are making a meaningful contribution to the development for their core worry competencies, knowledge processes, and the procedure skills. In in what part do you consider we need to uh, add a comma according to the sentence? What do you get in the first one? After knowledge. Okay, we have after knowledge. Okay, what else? A mistake is a man. Sorry? Uh, yeah, the mistake is in after N is not comma. Exactly. It's a mistake. Yes, here. Yes. And what about in um, contribution to the development of their core work competences? Do we need the comma here? What do you think, guys? Yes, we need a yeah. comma. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, the core work competences, knowledge, Processes and procedure skills. Yeah. And yeah. Yes, exactly. That would be the way. And we finish with the second one because of the time. Mm -hmm. A crucial aspect of a person's roles uh, in their own professional development is to be up to date and aware of the current trans topics legislation and uh, comma and comma regulations related to their profession. What is that? So you can you see a mistake and also a comma that we can add? Without comma in legislation. A comma in? Uh, without comma in legislation. Okay. Uh, current trend topics. Legislation. And to without comma after and. Exactly, because we don't need. And is the connector. So it's a coordinated conjunction. So in that case, we don't need it. Um, is to be up to date. Look at this one. And aware of the current trends topics legislation. So that would be the current trend topic legislation could be one idea, right? Yes. Exactly. One idea. Mm -hmm. And their regulations uh, and regulations related to their profession. So it's one another idea here too. You don't need any comma in this paragraph. Exactly. So in that case, we don't need here a comma. Okay. But in the in the other ones, yes, we need to. So we can check that one. Is to be up to date. This is one. And aware of the current. We have one, two, three ideas in the sentence, right? Separated. 
Okay, we will continue uh, tomorrow with the number three, four, five, and six because of the time. And I really appreciate it, guys, the effort and dedication you have for being here in the class. We will continue uh, focusing a little bit more about those examples because we will have uh, plenty of time to concentrate in exercises related to the comments. Right, so thanks a lot. You're dismissed and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good